The season just reset, so I'm gonna be playing some Pekka Bridge Spam and showing you guys how to play. So I've got the Evo Battle Ram version with Evo Archers as well. The classic version basically with just the these two Evos over the Zap. So you definitely don't want to leak first with Pekka, so I'm just gonna cycle my archers straight away at 10. And generally you just want to play more reactive to your opponent and try to catch them with counter pushes. So I'm actually gonna go for my Battle Ram at the bridge here because I wanna cycle to my Evo and also he did zap, so he's gonna have to respond to that, and we are a bit of a lick, so he's also gonna have to spend the other lane as well. Okay, he goes for a late battle ramp. Um, the problem is we can't really use our little prince ability for this, because we need to pack a hit packer. So yeah, we are gonna take a lot of damage there. Pretty bad start. I probably should have like ghosted that instead of the little prince, but I miscalculated something. So the pack is gonna walk up there. Our tower is pretty low. Um, but Pekka should do some nice work against the Mother Witch, hopefully it kills it. Okay, that's alright then. Don't need to worry about the pigs since we have Pananir, so it should take care of it. We'll probably get hit, but who cares? Okay, yeah, so just gonna uh, bandit for his ghost. And then he probably might try bandit that. Okay, he's not going to, he's gonna just do that. So he also has Pekka, but he's got the. Oh, his bomb. Okay, so Bomber's just gonna destroy my tower. He also has Mother Witch. And Cannoneer. He probably has um, arrows if I have to guess. So I'm just gonna go for my Battle Ram at the bridge here since he spent a lot of elixir with that zap, but he's also got Pack, so. Yeah, I'm not looking too good in this mirror matchup. In this mirror matchup, you just wanna kind of Pekka his Pekka. Or Pekka his troops as well. Try to get value with your pack and then overwhelm. None of us have E-Wiz, so you can't really use the, the E-Wiz to like stun that hacker. But I'm actually gonna try go opposite that. Okay, that was supposed to shoot the packer, but okay, yeah, just gonna poison out this. I need to build up a big push and just win somehow. Hopefully not take too much damage as well while we're at it. I'm gonna go for my Evo battle run. Give the little prince ability goes off. If we do push the Zap, 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 zap. Thank you. Okay, if I could take the tower. And all of a sudden, we're actually looking pretty decent. Okay, so I'm gonna go for my archer to kill his pack. Okay, I don't think that was a very good play. Oh no, I forgot that was either. Okay, that is gonna connect about twice, but we do take care of it eventually. And our tower is still healthier than his, so. Not doing too bad, I guess. Gonna battle around here with the one Evo Archer. And I'm just gonna set up for defense here, I guess. Okay, that's actually gonna. Okay, the Bob does get that shit. So we are gonna take the win here against the mirror matchup. I think ours is probably better. Our deck's probably better than his because he's got. In that matchup, it's probably better because he doesn't have like a bandit, he just has Bomber. And Mother Witch. Mother Witch is kind of useless. So we're going over to the second game. Let's see what we get. We get Nils. I think this is an interesting matchup that I can try and explain. I'm going to go from Archer to the back, just like last game. And then, okay, here's Barbarian, so it might be Lava Hound. That'd be definitely interesting to show. I'm going to band it in this lane because it will provide more of a threat. I won't just die to the Barbs. Okay, he's gonna little prince, so I'm just gonna ghost for these barbs. Okay, he's probably got giant graveyard then. <laughs> gonna little prince like this for my for his giant. Then also gonna push it back with the guardian. So yeah, with the baller it's gonna be giant graveyard. Giant graveyard is not a bad matchup, but it can be tough, especially when you have cannon here. So I'm actually gonna try and peck at the bridge here and just ignore the bowler. So I think I can take his tower here. Okay, so that's gonna be a very nice zap. The pack is gonna one shot all the barbs now. We're gonna battle run behind straight away as well. Hopefully Pekka makes it to the tower for another shot. Perfect, okay, and the bar barbs will take care of the tower. So, yeah, the reason I went in there was because he spent Giant on the left, which we countered easily with the Little Prince. And then he also wasted Bowler on the right 
for my ghost or something, I don't know. So that's 10 elixir, and we can get a very nice counter push, and his bowler is out of cycle, but I knew that. So we had a lot of elixir, obviously, counter pushing, and he also had none. So that's why I punished him for that, because I knew we could just ignore the bowler since we have 10 mid. And then, yeah, we took a bit of damage, but we got his whole tower back. So that's kind of like the thought process as to why I went in. So now all we have to do is poison graveyards and kill the giant, and then we should be all right. Okay, just gonna go poison this graveyard. We have kind of near, so I don't want to risk anything. Also gonna just battle around tank this little prince. I don't want to waste my little prince or my packer. Okay, that's a really nice zap there. Just gonna take that. And yeah, just want to zap his bats every time, basically. Okay, just gonna go for my Pekka now, we'll get to his bowler. Because if he goes giant as a lane, we've got a little prince plus archers. Yep, there's the giant graveyard. Archers plus ability should take care of that. If the little prince survives, it dies, but that should be alright, the ability went off. So yeah, it got almost no damage there. And he's still got to deal with that cow push plus the Pekka push, which is gonna kill his bowler. And it should take care of the little prince. Yep, even Batram's gonna come in. We're gonna barbs that. Okay, back to bowler, that's fine. So that's gonna be a pretty nice win against Giant Graveyard. So that guy just went too aggressive at the start and punished him and got his tower. So that's genuinely how you wanna play against it. Just play passive, wait for them to go in, kill it quite easily with your nice cards, and then just get a counter push and win the game. So I'm gonna open this straight into the next game. Okay, we're against Destroyer. This guy's got 23 global tournament finish, so he's obviously pretty good. So let's see what he's got. I'm gonna bandit the back first. And let's see what this guy wants to do. Okay, he has a healer, so it might be E Golem. So if they cycle like a healer in the back and you think it's E Golem, what I do is I just battle around opposite lane. Or put a pressure card opposite lane, because that's gonna stop him from having any ideas on if he wants to go in with the healer. Because if he does, he might be dead. So that's why I did that. He's also gonna go like this, so it's gonna clean up his cards pretty easily there. Okay, also gonna zap here, because I'm probably gonna cycle it on the tower later anyway. So I might as well just prevent that bit of damage. He has to respond to the ghost. He has made it, which is pretty bad. Okay. So now that his nader is out of hand, you can just bind it the bridge, because he already has King Tower, so he's not gonna nader into King. Okay, there's the, the healer again. So if he goes in with an E Golem here, we're not screwed, so we don't have to bar on opposite lane. Instead we can just think about taking care of the healer. And then we're actually up a, a bit of elixir, so I'm gonna go bar on opposite. Okay, this is pretty good. He cycled his E drag in that lane. He's also gonna have to go to Little Prince plus ability there. So I'm actually gonna pick at the back now, because we're up a lot of elixir. We're at 10 and he's probably at like five or six now maybe. That's why I think anyway, I'm not that good at kind of elixir. But I know that I'm up for sure. And then also he might have, I forgot if he's got the evil on the skeletons, but we'll just have to see. But we're gonna have to keep our zap just in case he does. Okay, he does, but he doesn't have it in cycle, so that's fine. I'm gonna go for my evil Batram like this. He spent all his elixir, so that's gonna take his whole tower, I think. Yeah, Batram's full HP getting one, two, three hits on the tower and pushes the healer away. And we take care of that Evil and pretty easily. Okay, he also wastes Evo Skelly, so that's pretty nice. He's gonna Pekka this thing. Ready for like a, a push, maybe. He's gonna ability for the Evo Skellies. And then he's gonna E-track that lane. So, okay, he also goes, he's actually gonna make a push, looks like. So, just gonna go for my Evo Watch like this. I might just barb to the Pekka. He's actually got that off the cycle. I need to Pekka to kill these. Golem things. And he's actually gonna kite that, so I guess that's pretty alright because we can just the old pack is gonna kill the new E Golem. Gonna bar on opposite, he doesn't have enough for barb, so we are gonna get a connection and leave the tower pretty low. Poison's gonna take care of all that on the left. Little Prince should kill that hopefully, yep. Okay, so still we've not won this game yet. Because his tower's on 600, we have no we only have poison. I'm actually gonna go with this thing to kind of like distract him. Because if he goes barbs that lane, there's no way we're getting through. And I'm also gonna poison this little prince. He has to respond to both. He has to defend the bottom against the ghost, that's really good. Because now we can just kill it and get a nice counter push again. And you're going for defensive e golems, that's usually a good sign for you. 
It looks like he's actually going to try and make a little push on that side. Gonna ability to get the elixir back. Gonna ghost, and then I'm also gonna battle run. Now our tower is quite low, but we should be okay. Gonna try to strike this E drag. Yep. He goes for the ability on the Evo battle run, but that's not gonna be enough to disconnect. And we're gonna take the game against E Golem. So yeah, general tips against E Golem: just wanna use your Pekka when you're up, mainly when you're mainly for attack, because usually it's pretty bad on defense, but. It's, it can work if they don't have like an Inferno Dragon or something. So it's good against the healer. The e drag will kill it though, so you gotta be careful. And yeah, you just wanna uh, split lane pressure, kind of like Lava Hound, and get them in like a bad situation. As you saw me kind of do there. So in the next game against K2. This guy does have Cannon here as well, so just gonna go with my Arch at the back first. Okay, yeah, she has Drill, so. Gonna ghost plus. Actually, yeah, I don't. I don't need to, uh, don't need to defend the fire spirit because the cannonade was shooting it. Luckily. So let's see what this guy's gonna do. He's also gonna use up. Okay. Gonna battle run in the corner to cycle. Probably gonna like hopefully Tesla that or whatever he's building. Because she can go for his mind miner. That's fine, I guess. Okay, I don't like that play actually because I still has to defend that now. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to Pekka. So it's going to kill the Mighty Miner, help me start a big push. He's also down a lot of Elixir, it's a bad, really bad play. Then he had to overspend. He's going to go for his Evo Bomber. That's fine, to be honest, because yeah, he'll get damage, but he's also going to be down even more Elixir now. So I'm going to go for my ability. And this should take his tower, I'm hoping. Can we zap to keep Pekka alive? Beautiful zap. He targets onto the Guardian, Pekka takes the tower. So yeah, you just have to be able to recognize when your opponent makes a, a bad play, like a misplay. Because that's normally going to cause him to overspend, like that guy with that mighty minor bomb over here. It was it didn't work out, so we had to overspend like Skelly's Fire Spirit down here. So then I just Pekka his mighty minor and start building up a big push. And that's basically how you play this deck. So uh, let's just bow around the bridge to see if this guy's given up. And it looks like he has, so I'll see you in the next game. Okay, on to the last match of this video against NXT Truly. So, okay, this guy does our Princess Tower, so that's going to be a nice little change. He's going to go Goblins at the bridge, he's going to go Arches for that. And let's see, probably just some kind of cycle there. Goblins are not really good to, like, you don't want to see Goblins a lot, because they do do very good against this deck. But that should be okay, he does have, like, a... Okay, so it's probably like an expo deck. Okay, so just gonna cycle my ghost into this knight, it should take care of it. And if he's got expo, you kind of wanna win near the start, so Okay, I'm actually gonna just poison this. I don't I don't I don't know if it's good to poison pumps really, because whenever I do poison it, I just lose to whatever troops they have, and if I don't, then I just lose to whatever. Um so just the pump advantage. So I'm actually going to Pekka now, because I don't have poison it was way out of cycle, I just used it to kill his other pump. And he's going to expo, okay, I don't like that expo from him actually, because we can just ignore that and arches it afterwards, because we need to get his tower here, or else we've basically lost. But he's going to win anyway if we just played slow, so that's why I took the risk of going in. Going to ability this, going to ignore the knight. You can get this match up to 1-1, one, one, then you're looking pretty good, I'd say. So obviously an expert player does not want to be at 1-1. One, one. Gonna zap. Okay, it was, a, it was a bit late because the card didn't select for some reason. But we still get his tower, so we're looking pretty good here against expert. So that's kind of what you want to do against expert. You just want to make sure you get damage or take his tower in single. And obviously I sacrificed a lot of damage on my tower to do that. But I'd still say it's, it's more than worth it because... Obviously, as an expert player, they don't want to be in a 1-1 situation, do they? So, okay, that's going to take our tower. There's nothing we can do about that. We tried to save our tower, but it didn't work. We were down too much elixir. So he's going to get that tower. We're just going to let him have it and back in the back. Obviously, this situation is better, a lot better for us than it is for him. Okay, that was actually a very nice play from him because... That's more or less the only way he can get damage on my tower. So, okay, that caught me a lot off guard. I was not ready for 
that. So yeah, pretty nice. Well played from him, but let's see if we can just get damage from now and win this game. Okay, he can't really get experts on our tower, so we don't need to worry about like being punished for like like over aggressive poisons and stuff. So I'm just gonna poison his tower. I'm gonna start for my Pekka down here. Okay, all we need to do now is just get damage. As soon as we overtake him and damage, you basically won. So we're gonna go for little things like this. He's actually gonna go extra defensive, so that's pretty okay for him. That's gonna set me up for a nice poison. He doesn't have like a Tesla as well because he's got pump. That's pretty nice for us actually. I'm gonna zap here, maybe get the bat onto the tower. Okay, no, not quite, but you just wanna like, at this point you've gotta slowly poison cycling because he's can't rely on trying to break through because he's going to probably defend for the whole time and he doesn't have a big spell and you do so you basically just want to poison cycle him slowly okay while also trying to like distract him while making big pushes so i'm going to poison his stuff here i'm also going to go with my little prince here and then probably just going to pack it again at this point you just want to rinse and repeat i'd say Pack a down low, he's just gonna log cycle us, that's all he can do. Unless he does another smart archer's play in the pocket, which is all the really he can do. So just gonna go like this, gonna let that lock on. My Pekka. And then just gonna go for my little prince here. Yeah, he's trying to get damage with his normal troops now. Which is actually pretty smart from him. But that's all he can do. So as long, as long as you can out damage that, this should be a win. I'm gonna pack it like this. And yeah, he's gonna go in a bit. That thing. I'm gonna zap like this. I'm gonna LP here. I'm gonna poison my tower. We are in the damage lead now. We just have to not lose to like a, a stupid play in the pocket. Yeah, like that. Okay, good. We, the ghost did hit before the the archers came down. So then it did distract it and hold up. Okay, so we are going to take the win here. Very, very um, unorthodox game actually. Normally expo games would not go like this, but in case you do get to one one, you just want to try to get more damage than them, like that. But if it's, if it's not a one one game, then you just want to try to still get damage in single elixir. Try tower trade or trade damage, or just try recognize when you're up elixir and try and make a big push. To, to get his tower so that's gonna be it for the video if you enjoyed please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one